So today we'll learn about something new in C++. I mean, it is not new, but relatively new if you don't know that. So the idea is <coughs> there are functions. Let's say you have a function to add something, right? Then you need a comma B as a parameter and you may just return a plus B. That's it, right? And you will call like add one comma two. That's it, right? I mean, this is very simple. But now you have a facility that you can say, okay, I will do auto function equal to std bind this function add. Now what you are binding with these parameters, I'll say pass one as the first parameter and pass two as the second parameter. Now this is a callable object. You can now do this f u n and then this will actually be similar as this but now you might be wondering like why would you go for this when you have this obviously there are many use cases where this will make more sense because there is another point also let me do that i'll just undo this and now what you want to do is you want to say I will bind add function, but I will do a placeholder. I will do underscore one. I mean, there is something called std colon colon placeholder. If you will use that namespace, then you can just simply write this as a placeholder. So this is first placeholder. You can say second placeholder. Don't get confused with this one is this one. No, it is not. It is a way of telling that I am putting placeholder. Now you will call this function with 10 and 20. And not only this, you can just simply opt to give this as a placeholder, but you may want to give 20 here. So in this case, later you can do function. This is the placeholder, right? So if you will give 10 here, this 10 will be used for this or vice versa. If you give 10 here and Let's say here you say underscore two, then this will be the placeholder. Then this 10, if you call now, this will go here. So 10 plus 10 answer is 20. So these kind of deferred, I mean, deferring to actually get the value, you are delaying it. You are going for the lazy parameter. These things can solve many problems. We'll come to that, but let's go to the example now. So I told you, right, if I will give both the values, so this is my divide, this is a very simple function and I'm binding this my divide with these two values. And then I'll just have to call this function because this is my binded function. But if I'm giving a placeholder here, then I'll have to give one more value. So this 10 will be treated here. So 10 divided by two is five. So five is the answer. And if I give placeholder like both, I'm not providing, but I can swap the placeholders. Just notice this one is here and two is here. So this first will be coming here and the second will be coming here. So then in that case, answer is 0.2. Let me quickly do that. Yeah, see, it is five and 0.20. So let's quickly talk about what are the key benefits of this. So first of all, the key benefit is, I mean, one of the key benefit is you get to delay the argument decision factor like you don't have the argument right now it's okay but you have some argument right so just go ahead and bind that with that function and when later point of time you get another uh, argument maybe that argument construction is quite heavy it takes time you get that and now you fire with that argument so this delaying the argument can solve many problems second is this can be used in callback functions and event handlings I mean, I'm not going to give you all the examples. I'll just brighten up your thoughts where this all can be used. And yeah, dependency injection is also a good place where you can use this. So if you want to learn daily new, new things about C++, consider subscribing to this channel. I'll see you in the next videos, guys. And yeah, make sure you share these videos with your friends. See you. Bye-bye.